Hi everyone, Aldmar here. This is my solo walkthrough and guide to the level 3 heroic quest, The Hijacked Hull, on the Elite difficulty. Enjoy. Hi everyone, Warjack here. This is one of the Salt Marsh quests. Uh, fair warning, this quest has some underwater swimming, but the underwater swimming is not too difficult. It's not very long, so it is totally doable without an underwater action item. However, if you are nervous about such things and you would like to make sure, well, make sure you get a underwater action item before. If you did forget, there's still another thing you can do. There is a moss patch, actually two, in the quest and you can use it. It will give you a buff of underwater action. So you'll be covered. For now, let's head out to the quest. This is one of those walk up quests and it's far out on the map. It is somewhere between the lizard folks quest and the Sarhagan quest, the final enemy. So it's kind of far out, but uh, if you want to, you can always take the path that will lead you by a few different optionals and you can, uh, whatever, uh, loot some extra chests. Fun fact, there's one optional in Salt Marsh who is fixed, always, it's always there and you don't have to spawn it in. There's one optional on the hill you have to spawn in. That is, there's an Abishai. You have to do the puzzle and it will spawn in the Abishai every time. But there's another one over here, which is a, uh, whatever the, no, whatever these things are called, a Kelpie. I think it's called a Kelpie, whatever. And yeah, this is always here and you don't have to, you don't have to do anything to get it to spawn. So every time you come by here, you'll have a, well, basically a free chest. Yeah, so basically you're heading in the direction of the final enemy, but you're stopping a bit short of it. There's a ship over here on the side and here's a quest giver standing on a rock. This ship seems to have sunk very recently. The main cabin appears to be completely intact. The crates the sailor mentioned aren't anywhere on this deck. I like the sunken ship sitting on the side, on its side. Yeah, so right over here is the swimming part, and there's a moss patch over here. You click on it, and it'll give you the buff of uh, underwater breathing for a minute and a half. A hole Basically, the like the clicky you get from Corthos. Exactly the same thing. There's another one right over here. I already have underwater action on, so you don't see the effect of the buff. You'll just have to take my word for it that I have it. Yeah, but there's nothing really to worry about the swimming. There's not like there's a place to get lost or anything. It's a pretty short swim, and then as soon as you come up, you don't have to swim this whole part on the water. You can come up over here and, and then swim above water. Here's when the quest the actually starts. Opens up into a large I'm a done hell, it's not really, nothing really happens. There are doorways to the yeah, north and there's two ways. The north I mean, this, this passageway actually has three exits from it, but option. right now there's only way to go. There's only one way to go. My point is it's kind of linear this quest. It's not really not really a big variety of options of where to go. Also, most of the enemies are in like these little clumps. Walk down a part of a hallway, clump of enemies, a little more of the hallway, more more enemies. Yeah. Whoops, a little too eager over there. Yeah, 
Okay, here we've got a puzzle that has some traps in it. So this puzzle itself is very easy. Just make sure that before you set the light to go through it, it is not connected to any of the traps. That, that's basically it. So like this one over here, I'm just going to turn it around. So it's not connected to the trap. Also this one. And yeah, that's basically it. So here's how, here's how it's done. Okay. It goes up the right side. Actually, no. Yes, yeah, start, start from the top. It's easier. Yeah, the top, left, and center all connected to one like vine together, and then one of them comes down and goes down the right side of the map of the, yeah, of the puzzle. That's it. Gears were into action. You just head back the way you came, you'll be able to get to that first intersection where I said there's three ways to go. And yeah, you can just uh, continue on the quest. But there's an optional that opens up also. And it's got some traps in it and some extra loot. But if you have the ability to do traps, disabling these traps will help your bonus, I mean, to the XP. So it might be worth it just for that. Also the breakables. Trio of lizard folk guard a nearby we got an orange named uh, like boss, mini boss. Uh, killing him will grant you access to the chest. You find the key to open the nearby door from the corpse of one of your defeated opponents. Peering into the water below, you can spot yeah, DM says you see nimbly. lizard folk. No, nope, you don't see anything. Sorry. Yeah, this hallway has a set of traps, both sides. I think they're cold traps. Yeah, so. And this, this brings us back to the first intersection that we came to. We were facing the wall over here. And now we're gonna go right. This is the door we opened with that puzzle. Looking closely, you can see that the cave continues. here can be a bit awkward because of the angle the slope so if you're missing a lot uh, maybe just move so you're not uh, so you have a better angle at the targets okay here we've got a little another underwater section right next to the shrine if you want to get out you can always just use the vine to climb back out yeah this is a very short underwater section yeah, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, when you get to the end of it, though, before you come up, there's actually some uh, rubble over here, and you get a collectible. So don't miss it. If you can't jump out of this hole, don't worry. There's a vine you can climb out. Before I move on, other than the breakables, there's actually a little hidden chest over here. Uh, you have to climb up these rocks. There's two pressure plate traps right next to the chest. I believe they're electric traps. And they can hit really hard, especially on Elite. Also, you better have the ability to uh, pick locks or knock. Yeah, this chest is locked. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, over here we can continue straight and just end the quest. Or we can go to the side uh, side room and there's like a little mini boss in here also. Basically from here until the end of the quest, it's just a bunch of slaughtering of these uh, lizard folk or whatever they are. Breakable is want to break. Here, here's how you deal with stubborn breakables. Hit them with a ranged weapon. There you go.
I believe some of these uh, doors are locked. But, well, they lock your progress by forcing you to kill the monsters in the room before, or you can't unlock the lever. Here you get a whole bunch of uh, trap, uh, whatever, a whole bunch of these uh, lizard folk who drop in from the top. Some of them actually stay on the top, and you'll need to range them if you want to kill them. I believe you don't have to kill them though if you want to move on, so if you don't feel like it you just want to ignore them, that that's okay also. But if you want to, you're going to have to end up standing here and doing some kind of ranged attack if you want to kill them. Only one? Okay, whatever. Just in case you need it, here's another rest shrine. So, if you haven't already, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you. You can see a pile of crates matching the sailor's description on the other side of the room. And here we go. As you approach these crates, you, approach the crates, you get an ambush, and this drops down the boss. Then the lizard folk drop from above. To complete the, the quest and get the loot, you first need to, uh, to pick up the crate, the, the whatever it's called, the crate in the corner. Click on it, and I'll end the quest. You found the crates you were looking for, but they contain weapons, not wine. It seems that sailor wasn't telling the truth. Yeah, that's it. Pretty straightforward. This is kind of a linear quest and it's pretty easy. Well, nine minutes and 59 seconds. Oh, whatever. This ship seems to have sunk very recently. The main cabin appears to be completely intact. Yep, there you go. Well, as always, thank you very much to all my founding members. Thank you very much for everyone who watched this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit like and subscribe. And I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye.